You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's our show. Good. So, um, I'm here today with uh, Ed Saunders, and you have a new book. Yes. This is uh, published uh, June 1st of 2018. The book is called Knapsacks and Roses, Montana's Women Veterans of World War I. It is a 300-page narrative nonfiction work with 31 illustrations, and it tells a story that hasn't been told in Montana to this detail. It's a story of over 200 Montana women who entered uh, the United States military from Montana in World War I. The majority of these women were nurses, and many of them went overseas and served in harm's way. There were a few who entered the United States Navy and served in administrative support in the Navy, and five who entered what is called the Women's Telephone Unit of the American Signal Corps. Informally, they were called the Hello Girls. They were switchboard operators who manned the telephones in France. Okay. So, uh, what inspired you to write this book? Several things inspired me to do it. I encountered the graves of many of these women, and they had military headstones showing their service. Their headstones captivated me, and I decided to begin researching them individually. And the more I looked, the more women I found. This was about a seven-year research effort. I didn't work at it every day, but uh, it became a, a calling, and uh, I wanted to write their story because their story hadn't been told before in Montana. It was because I encountered these women and found their graves that just inspired me to research them and write about them. Well, uh, you seem to have a special interest in this too. You have a military background as well, don't you? Yes, I served uh, a career in the United States Regular Army. Uh, I am a uh, ground combat veteran of the Persian Gulf War. I retired after 22 years of service as a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army. And because of that military background, uh, that helps me look at these uh, veterans' issues from a military perspective and not simply a historian's perspective. Well, who do you think would be interested in this book? This book is written for many different interests. Certainly, if uh, people have interest in World War I history, this would be a book for them. If they are interested in women's history, they can find a lot of that here. Montana history is here. And also, women's issues of that time, a hundred years ago. The book is written in a panoramic setting to put all of this into a context and I'm very uh, certain that I have done that and I would be pleased if people would consider uh, purchasing this book and reading the stories of these women. Well, I, I think it's a remarkable book and, and you know two things about it that you mentioned really caught my attention. One, World War One. And I think that's been a neglected topic. A hundred years ago, we were engaged in ground combat in Europe. And two, uh, the story of women that, as you say, has never been told. I mean, it, not just in Montana, but it's been a neglected topic throughout the entire nation. So I'm really pleased to see uh, this put into a book. Well, thank you very much. Uh, not very, very few books nationwide have been written in detail about women's service in World War I. This is among the very few, the first that I know of from Montana that's written in this detail. And uh, the story of women participating in the United States military in World War I just simply hasn't been widely told and widely known. Yeah. And they did amazing things. Indeed you, you they did. You have uncovered amazing stories. Indeed they did. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Mark.
This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.